Greetings everyone, and great here for another 8 Virus 2 Definitive Edition replay. Spawn on the bottom left side as the yellow goss, we have Hoi. Spawn on the top right side as the blue Spanish, we have Anti-Demon and Edgelord uh, speak. Let's go for each player civilization bonuses. The Goths, they are infantry civilization. Infantry costs 20% less, 35, 25% less, 30% less, and 35% less in each of the ages. Infantry gets plus one attack per age, starting field age. So manage plus zero, one, two, three. Uh, per when it comes to the ages. Scout did push forward to get some harassment on in. Those who get plus five attack versus four, very handy indeed. You get plus 15 carrying meat, so sometimes you may need to Drop off the meat early if you need that food in order to invest in villagers. And hunts last 20% longer. Very good because this also provides a lot of extra resources and hunts last that long. Bloom can be instantly researched. It does still cost the 50 gold, however. So it used to be originally like free loom, which actually made it really powerful. But making the loom still. I want to say the coder made it say loom is free, but still have plus 50 gold. But sometimes people want that 50 gold for something else. And plus 10 uh, maximum population in Pure Race, so you go up to 210 max population. Unique units of Scarl, a fast moving infantry unit, generally useful versus archers. Detects, Anarchy, can you unite Huskarls at the Bears? Refusion, Bears work 100% faster. And now we've got these forces fans forward before I'm able to cover both player civilization bonuses. And Bears work 20% faster, so you know, potentially up to 120%. Faster working barracks, so unless they are at at the multiplicative, then that is a little bit different. Hey, sir. Oops, not sure what I hit. Man arms trying to get them some sort of engagement there. These uh, gold miners are nice and safe behind their walls. And now let's take a look at blue civilization benefits. Spanish, a fan favorite. Our gunpowder monk civilization. They'll just work 30% faster. Very handy. Blacksmiths don't cost gold. Very handy. Or upgrades don't cost gold. Cannon Galleons benefit from uh, ballistics. Fire faster, more accurately. Gunpowder students fire 18% faster. Again, so we have some pretty good hand cannoneers. Receive units and get plus 20 gold for East Technology Research. A little bit of a cash rebate. Unique units. Conquistor, or Mountain Hand Candy are a fan favorite. And Missionary. That is something to do with your wife. Unique text. Inquisition. Monks convert faster and get missionaries plus one range. Additionally, you have all missionary technologies. Supremacy. Bit of a meme technology, but can be very handy sometimes. Team bonus. Trade units generate addition. That's not important on this map. Just break through some of these palisade walls there. Trying to keep these villagers safe, trying to collect as much gold as possible. He is trying to pull out. He's just trying to stall out. I think he's trying to collect enough gold to get the next age, trying to repair up the wall now. But I think he's just trying to... And now we got a whole lot of man arms and also some militia here. We got more man arms on field. He does break through that palisade ball there. Now he's trying to ban the region. Does get a kill there on one of the man arms. You only have one inherent pierce armor. So we do have a large number of man arms on the field. This one less now. Archers can push away for as well. We got aggression from the Goth player. We do not have Castle Wage for the Spanish player. He's, I think he bought, uh, used the market there for a bit of gold. Yes. Oops. I got trapped last game. It's weird one. Uh, it looks like something may have happened. I wonder. If the game got paused, I'm not so sure what happened right there. I'm gonna fast forward a little bit. He's trying to break through this region. Does break through the palisade wall there. And arms receiving quite a bit of damage there from the town center. And one of them may go down. One of them does go down. The other two will breach on through. We got this deer being claimed as well. Now this man arms are patrolling around. They're a little bit wounded, so the villagers could stay in the fight. The one was actually quite wounded himself herself. Archers and Spearmen trying to advance it forward. Remember, he gets bonus damage versus buildings with his uh, infantry units as well, so he can break through these to have buildings very, relatively quickly as well. And now we have Castle Wage for Blue, and he's going straight for. Oh, that's not a castle, that's a town center, ain't it? We do have quite a bit of stone being collected by Blue as well. We're going to see a castle for Fast Castle because you want those to mount uh, Conquistadors. They're a very, very nice unit to use. Oh, 
house is starting to go on down. The house does go on down. Monday. Let's get some damage there. These Jeez. forces are on a patrol around. Deer has not been fully claimed, so it's going to be left for rot. Now we've got these forces trying to dance on the floor, trying to find some sort of engagement. Ah, uh, there's the... Another town center. I thought he was going to go for a castle, but guess not. He's right now just trying to play the villager game. He does have castle age. His opponent is only a fetal age. We've got castle age now on the build queue for yellow. He's going to be a bit behind him. Actually, no. The Spanish players lost some lower number of villagers there, so he is currently down behind on villager count, but that can be easily be changed. Oh yeah, one reason why he's behind a village account is because of the uh, castle wage research itself. Yeah. We've got these forces dead. patrolling around trying to find an engagement as rebuilding that house, has See? rebuilt that house. But these home wreckers may destroy it again. Let's find a quality down that villager. He Related. does have fletching. He's going to try to escape, or is he going to try to push on forward? The yeah. men-arms may just want to hack apart these housing. Not much they can do in most of these engagements, and the villagers could try hitting some of these farming villagers. And now Yellow has researched his castle age. Burn for crossbow and bodkin arrow research. He cannot go to Arbalist. He can get up the Bracer. Now do got a castle here. And a uh, fourth town center for blue. The village account is favor blue thanks to all those additional town centers. Just the one town center for yellow. The second town center on the way. Now we've got crossbow research and as well as potentially, yeah, bottle arrows finished. And now you can safely siege down this town center at four arrows uh, per volley. Probably better just to hit those farms, honestly. The scout does escape on out with one health remaining. Got Siege Workshop going on out by going for some Maganos. More villagers being created, hitting these farms. Very nice. This villager is currently not doing anything just a moment. As could task onto the berries. And now we've got these crossbowmen moving around, Mind trying it? to find a potential engagement onto these villagers over here. This villager is quite wounded, so she could potentially be picked off. Scorpion upon a field. We see a lot of scorpions recently, haven't we? Arm under siege. It has no inherent pierce armor or hack armor, so it can easily be destroyed and make it turn all those fruit and vegetables into kebabs. And you can't eat kebabs, now can you? Presto. That yeah, crossman went a little bit too close to that town center, but does not get retaliated on. And the man arms do clean up both those housings, very nice. Blue just dying for more villagers, even for a castle on the field, we don't see any conquistadors. That's sort of strange. What is the goth player going? We, only have, we do have a scorpion game, yeah, great hits there onto these uh, mana arms. Going for more villagers and wheelbarrow. Very nice. Let's see, he has three town centers out on the field. Get some damage there onto these uh, crossbowmen. Crossed a little bit wounded, nothing too significant. Now we do have a first Conquistador out on the field. Conquistador has six range, these crossbowmen have seven range. But the Conquistador does get the first shot there, and not even the leopard is trying to eat these guys' faces. Yes. Looks like uh, the game was paused once again. 
more stone walls base. now going on up along the flank. Doesn't get this gold deposit inside. That's crossbowman being pursued by the leopard. Yeah. And yellow is just going for has five villager queues on the field. Not going to be employ a large military with that uh, large queue. He may want to eye for a lot of skirmishers engaged in conquistors. He's fighting in Spanish. You're going to fight uh, against a lot of skirmishers. So con skirmishers or conquistors. Skirmishers would be a good item to ca hit those conquistors. And probably wait for the Huskarls to really engage the Conquistors to get a fast moving infantry unit. Because Conquistors are not exactly the fastest infantry unit there. Maganel pushes away forward as well. Crossbow fires up a volley there. Maganel does roll a miss. And the Scorpion gets some great collateral damage there. But good hit there onto those Conquistadors. Fires another volley there. Two of the Conquistors do go down, but does take out the Maganel in return. Scorpion got some great shots there. Yellow is still behind the villager count, even though he has five villager queues somehow. Uh, how many? Looks like blue only has two villager queues at the moment. That has four town centers on the field, but not really maintaining the villager production all too well. Blue also has a large amount of food. He's on going for Imperial Age now. Isn't he? Imperial Age, Wheelbarrow, and Village is not being poured on now. Hey, yeah. Yellow's only eyeing villagers. And he's not exactly close going for Imperial Age at the moment, now is he? So for our line of housing there, very nice. Hunt Q-Source paint support with some Scorpion support. Unusual attack, but somewhat successful at the moment since it's not being retaliated all too well. You have another ca castle going up for Blue. And now we've got Yellow has a castle as well, a defensive castle. He may be eyeing to get out his technology there. How many barracks do we see on the field? Just the yeah, one. Right. But like both players are receiving a lot of lag spikes. I suppose it's an even fight. That may resolve it's my wonders why both players are being a little bit timid at the moment, not sure. We got a nice line of housing there. Nobody expects the uh, Housing creep to your base. Conquistors engaging some of these uh, lone villagers. Yellow has more villagers than his opponent currently. And now do have the Imperial Age for blue. A scroll's not being pulled on the field. They do have seven inherent pierce armor. You got a pair of boar here. Actually, there's two boar there. Yellow could actually claim the boar. That's a lot of valuable food. Huskarls are being focused down there. They're receiving massive hits. And now do you have another castle being poured out by yellow. His Imperial Age is almost complete. And now do you have Imperial Age for complete for yellow. He's getting for bracer research, trying to get some good skirmishers. He is going for lead skirmisher as well. He has a good number of skirmish on the field, just not exactly upgraded all too well. Now do you see some barracks being plot on the field. We may see a big line of husk crawls up soon, but do now have these trebuchet spans support with scorpion support. I don't see his castle technologies just yet. Now some of these barracks are starting to go down. Got, of course, a good number of trebuchets here, as well as conquistadors. We need a lot of skirmishers to help engage this force. The outpost does go down. One of the barracks do go down as well. We got chemistry and pierce arm and archer armor now being pulled on out. That is his final level of archer armor. Got 15 skirmishers here versus the 14 or 13 cocky swords and one light cavalry. There's also still a number of scorpions in the field. Do we see heavy scorpion research? Can the Spanish get heavy scorpion research? 
He cannot get heavy in Scorpion Research. Trying to get some conversions off there. We've got uh, some of the Scorpion Research do get converted. Trying to get some hits on the Conquistador. Trying to stall out the plus the Dolph player. Now you have the cast uh, Improved Age technology, which is Perfusion Bear Scorp faster. And you have Heart Scrolls being put up by the other castle as well. Or nope, you just boot uh, Heart Scrolls and then shoot up the uh, Castle Age Tech or Imperial Age technology. Perfusion is now in the field of queue, but he's repairing up to the cave, the castle. He's a bit of damage there. And we'll lose the castle there before it gets his Imperial Age technology. Now he has to rely on skirmishers and whatever spearmen he can pull them out. A lot of trucks going down for yellow, that's not good. He does have his own scripture there, trying to go for back line castle now. And these light cavalry have so far no counter. He's not been pulling out any sort of proper amount of spearmen or any spear. As he's a pikeman, he needs population space as well. The castle being pulled out will improve his population spacing, or maybe not. That's going for more barracks we pull on out. When those uh, trebuchets do go down, yellow's trebuchet is still up and going. We're seeing some does go down there. Nothing being put up by this castle at the moment. Those are still turning to with some gold. Or not gold, stone. Bazaar is advancing forward, trying to get some engagement over here. This town center is garrisoned by a single villager, but there's not enough damage output in order to fire off arrows. He needs a second villager in there. Now, Blue's holding for a forward castle as well. Pikemen or Halberdier is not being pulled on the field, trying to stab these forces. We've got a good wave of help. Halberdier is now being pulled on the field. So it has made some skirmishes out. Both will be necessary at this moment in time. Maybe get out of Trimshire of his own help and engage that castle if it gets deployed, completely deployed out. Fully built. Hazar being very annoying over here. We're getting more forces. He's, he's as for the uh, keep there. He's not getting the confusion technology just yet. This keep or castle is almost out. This tribute needs help with more start hitting it. More help here. I'm trying to board, trying to deal with these forces. And then we have the man at arms research. I'm not sure why it's going for man at arms research. At this point in time, man at arms are not going to be useful. In Blast Forge as well, Halberdier is being pulled on field. Blue's castles receive private damage. Yellow's castle still have full health, trying to go for more trebuchets. Halberdier is just trying to soft retreat away, trying to get some more forces before engaging because the contents are still close to massive threat to And now it does take out some of those Hazards. We got the skirmishers going down. Right now, Blue has playing four relics as well. The last relic may not be spotted yet. It's in bottom left, safe from capture for yellow. And now we've got multiple trebuchets and bombards hitting uh, Blue's keep, so that will go down shortly. But he's losing a large number of halberdiers to that castle now. But now the castle's failed. Got more skirmishes, halberdiers from the field. A very trash force. Engaged with these uh, Huzzars quite well. And got more skirmishes transport. So I'm going to slowly wheel down these conquistadors. So no perfusion technology just yet. He has a bit of he has a bit of food and gold and stone. Wood sort of, small amount of stone, enough for repairs, that's about it. Just trying to go for more halberdiers. With our doom, good work. He's still can't really engage his punky, so it's a good job keeping him on the back line. He has a couple of these scorpions still firing away as well. Time to wish this game has a kill count to see how much kills they got him, as well as some of these punky stores. Halberdiers now charging forward. Some of these trebuchets are being cut off. He has a short large amount of yellow superstructure. But now, yellow's starting to make advance, he's throwing enough trash his opponent. Remember, his inherent uh, team bonus is faster work than Barracks by 20%. So he may not have perfusion, but he has other production upgrades. Got these Switch Warcraft's not receiving a bit of fire there. They're filled with Bombards. They'll be overran by the Halberd Deers. More Barracks can on the field. Right now, yellow has 160 villagers. With that extra max population cap, he's able to. He's going to feel a smaller army, but he's going to have the income to throw the trash at his opponent. Though right now he's a bit low on wood. He has 
another castle over here. I wonder if it got confusion. I cannot really ch there's no way for me to check it. Certainly not may not have gotten the anarchy or whatever it's called. Yeah, anarchy technology. Palvedere skirmishes paint sent forward. He's gonna maintain a decent gold reserve, because whatever gold he does is fucking he's already spending it. And now the conquistadors can overran. Now we've got the horde of Ancient on Ford. He's got some of these conquistadors. There's a lot of barracks or stables here. He needs a transition to something else. He's fighting against a lot of halberdiers and skirmishers. At this point in time, he needs to he needs to go for a swordsman. Y'all see the Spanish player needs to really eye to start transitioning to swordsman tech and not just rely on Hussars. He can get supplies, he can, he can get Gambersons, he can get up all the other champions, and this was all the infantry technologies. Granted, that is a very expensive ask. So means gold miners starting to go down, which he still has a bit of gold inside his walls, and I'm not sure there's any more gold over there, so hard to tell. Now Yellow's going for a forward castle here. Hussars may be able to take out this trebuchet. Halpadir is not really engaging his forces. Got some, uh, now some Halpadir is able to get some damage onto these Hussars. Maybe if we take out that uh, Bombard time. It does take out the Bombard barely though. Hydra is now engaging these Hazaras. Uh, this Bombard will go down. I'm not sure where the Conquistadors went. There's the Conquistadors. Javier's just charging for against good damage in this Punky Source. Nothing he could go for is rather than Punky Source, he could go for Hand Cannoneers. Hand Cannoneers do not receive bonus damage from Halberdiers. So they should be reasonably well versus Halberdiers as well as Skirmishers. He needs to transition to Hand Cannoneers. And that requires very little uh, technology to keep him alive. He may still want to go for the. I suppose they still use Rain Archer armor like the Punky Source. So I think Hand Cannoneers would be a better transition. Just relying on his uh, on all the time. And going for his own frontline spearmen and pikemen would be very useful. And halberdiers. Just have to hold the front line as well. Yeah, hold the front line better than his current uh, hussars. <laughs> I just love those. Doesn't sound. You may not be shift clicking if you do if you hear that. You may be left mouse and left stand clicking. Got, yep, we do have shift clicking for yellow. Very nice. He's still out for more halberdiers. Halberdiers do force to the bonus and for building sinks his uh, civilization bonus. So they will do reasonably well versus all these stables. Yellow's ca castle does go down there, but it does have still a good number of halberdiers poking through these uh, hazards. My keys are starting to be overran. And not necessarily overran, but now see some damage there. He's done a good choke point there to hit these forces, trying to avoid any additional halberdier shots there. And right now, a lot of these saves won't go down. Maybe a battery ram too won't be not bad to help hit these structures a bit better. Bomb bars are a decent choice, as well as any trebuchets if he had them still alive. Now, Pierre got, now got these alone halberdiers just going around hitting this various village, exposed villagers. Very nice. We got a number of defensive castles here, so these halberdiers don't want to see those. Does he have the murder holes? He does not have murder holes. He does have the uh, hoardings. As well as all of his uh, architecture and masonry. Halberdiers charging forward, trying to get some damage on these forces. More skirmishers push way forward as well, getting some hits there on the castle. It has 7,000 health. And oh, we got some yellow uh, barracks here. We're gonna get some of these halberdiers. These halberdiers are being picked off one by one. These concave swords are painted forward, trying to hit some more reinforcements. And yeah, blue is low in population space. He needs to pull out some housing there. Just build maybe 20 housing there in case of I don't know, 20. But a lot of housing in case start losing his castles. He doesn't want to put a pop cap. And now he's trying to transition to Hen Candiers. That is the better transition at this point in time than the Conquistadors. Plus they also get bonus damage versus infantry. So they should be very good in this situation to receive less bonus damage in return.
Our expansive board. They can pose up the castle so they don't have murder holes. So we got the horde of Halvidir's main support. He must have uh, profusion research. We see a lot of Halvidir's maintain enough income there. And look, the yellow now has a massive reserve of food and wood there. He's able to expand herself efficiently enough. Remember, she's also cheap as well. And now they build produce, produce, produce faster. They are a lot cheaper. Plus trash. If they're even cheaper trash. He needs time to. He needs to get a group of hand cannoneers. Just start regrouping hand cannoneers. Rely to be in more the urbanized area. And, are, and start uh, getting good numbers then. He's starting to get some great damage there. Being funneled one at a time. So hand cannoneers are doing a good job. Getting overrun. While the horde is only doing minimal damage since they don't do any bonus damage versus these hand cannoneers. The hand cannoneers are doing great work. It, going for some puzzle is never half bad to overrun some certain siege weapons. But here comes hand cannoneers. At the void, they bombard fire still, and now they've got the Hazar's charging fortune over on the various siege weapons as well as some skirmishers. And remember as well, these hand cannoneers do fire faster as well, fire 18% faster. Very precise number, honestly. Hazar's charging on forward, trying to get some damage on in. They're on that keep or a castle, getting all the words mixed up between this game and Age of Powers 4. The castle will go down. There's a lot of bomb bars as well as a trebuchet getting it. And here the hand cannon is decent with damage. We've got some lone barracks here. And these barracks can do some significant damage because this is how quickly they can build. They can pull out a little horde themselves. Castle will go down. Hazar trying to charge him forward. He has some hand cannons to reach him. Conquistor is firing away. This area is pretty open, so it's better for open areas for the melee units and better for close areas for the ranged units. We got a good number of scrimmages here, but now we've got the uh, Huzzar charging forward trying to get some damage on in these forces. And a move and hold a uh, stop order. So have to deal with some of these lone barracks. Got these uh, Huzzar charging forward trying to get some damage on in. Scrimmages getting some damage as well. We do have these more barracks in the bottom field. Hand cannon is in a good angle. No, it looks like they're hitting some other stuff in general. I think they're maybe... No, they're not hitting the barracks there, so he's hitting units. Canners do have also a bit more range than uh, Conquistors, which they are not in the Conquistors either. So the Conquistors have 6 range, and Canners do have 7 range. These uh, Javelin uh, Elite Skirmishers have 8 range, though. Some of these uh, hand cannons are starting to go down to the bomb bars. Bomb bars can spray hits there. He's starting to overrun them with the Hazars, but he lost the majority of his hand cannons to those bomb bars. And it looks like I think Blue backed out of the game now. That's Anagrade saying thank you for watching and on. Bye.